Welcome back. The Green Mountain Film Festival is coming up this week, and joining us with more information is festival director Paivan Lukamhan. Thank you so much for joining us. To start, tell us a little bit about the festival. Who's involved, and is it competitive? Great. Thank you for having me on. I'm very excited to talk about the Green Mountain Film Festival. This is the 23rd production of the festival. We have been in Montpelier since 1997. So it's a brand new crew of folks who are behind it this year. And we haven't had a festival since 2019 because of the COVID pandemic. And so during the time that we haven't been uh, in production, we've been behind the scenes, gathering a whole new uh, group of folks interested in making this festival happen. We've always been here in downtown Montpelier. We love downtown and Montpelier is definitely a supporter of the arts and the cinematic arts. Um, we can know, we know that because we have two independent uh, film houses here, the Savoy Theater, where the film festival has always been. And this year, we're also going to include the Capitol Theater, which is also a uh, family business here. So how has the festival evolved over time? Sure, we've had many iterations. This year, we're having a four-day festival. Um, it has uh, expanded and shrunk over the years. Um, this year, we are focusing very much on voices that may not necessarily make it here to Montpelier. So we're focusing on international stories, stories featuring BIPOC and LGBTQ communities and indigenous communities. Um, and most of the movies that are on our program are Vermont premieres, so they've never played anywhere in Vermont, and we feel like that also really makes our festival special. So you can definitely find something at this festival then, you know, that will perhaps take you out of your comfort zone. Is that kind of the goal of the festival, is to broaden people's perspectives? I think that that's what Montpelier asks of the artistic community. Uh, we are a pretty educated group of folks. We, as you know, we have the legislature here and um, we have a very inquisitive group of people in our community. And we're always trying to ask more about how do we understand ourselves, our community, and how do we interact with the world around us? And so bringing in these movies is a way to help generate those conversations. So we have several movies for instance, that deal with climate change in a couple of different ways. Um, deforestation, the effects of many different ways um, that climate change um, affects um, the people around the world. For example, that's just one way uh, that we're helping to foster these conversations. Another uh, way we're having, uh, we're focusing on exploring these different conversations is that we've got a movie called Farming While Black, and we're bringing in a panel of Vermont's black farmers to give us a, an idea of how it is for them locally, even after having just watched this movie that talks about black farming across the country. So where, when can people see it? Are there still tickets available? Yes, uh, we have four days of movies uh, starting Thursday, March 14th. It goes all the way through Sunday, March 17th. And you can go to our website, gmffestival.org. We have a festival hub for in-person sales. If you really want to talk to folks, come down to Rabble Rouser. That's where we're going to be all four days. And we hope that this will also be a place where folks can come and just chill before they go to their next movie, hang out with friends, and um, settle into Montpelier. So there's going to be a lot of things to do in Montpelier in addition to the festival. So we just are hoping that there's going to be a buzz of folks this weekend. For sure. And we will have more information on our website for people to check out. Thank you so much for taking the time. Absolutely. Thank you. See you at the movies.